everything. Steaks and shrimps and fucking rice and beans and I'm so Puerto Rican. So, what's my topic? Staying calm. So, a lot of stuff kind of happened today. I mean, a lot of stuff didn't really happen today. It's just one event that happened today. But, I realized that, one, (coughs) yes, I was angry, but I didn't get nearly as angry as I would in the past and as I really would in like the past past so every 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 day is always like a little a little step up when it comes to dealing with me and my mind um I've always I guess had an anger problem that's what they call it you have an anger problem Um, but I've always known that there's a path to being a calmer person. Now, I've heard a lot change between the time that I was like 24 and 25. I noticed how my mindset changed, um, between like, okay, this is life. I wasn't just like getting fucked up. Um, I mean, I still blah, blah, blah. But now that I'm 29, um, one, a lot of realizations or at least a lot of things changed in my mind this year. One big thing is that I don't understand or I, I completely understand it, actually. Honestly, I understand it, and that's why I see through it. And that's why I can't be a part of it. And that's why I rebel from it. Um, <coughs> this idea of just working your life away. Now, that's inevitable. We all have to work. We all have to do something. I understand that. But you don't have to do it for somebody else. You don't have to give your whole life away just for fucking scraps now think of it like this let's say that somebody gave you a thousand dollars right and they told you to go to giant and they told you to get all of these groceries like everything steaks and shrimps and fucking rice and beans and I'm so Puerto Rican and fuck just everything on the menu and shit and then you did all of that for them, they filled, no, you filled their refrigerator, all of it up. And then after, they just gave you like a ham sandwich, like a bologna sandwich with a little red ring around it and shit. And was just like, all right, I'll see you next month or next week, something like that. That's in a sense what you're doing when you're either Working your life away for Amazon or for Dollar Tree or for Target or for Wah Wah or like you're 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 essentially filling how many times have you heard somebody say, Oh well damn, I had to choose between filling my refrigerator and getting food this month and Paying my electric bill, or paying my phone bill, paying my rent, or paying something. Now, I don't think that this should be the case. Everybody should have food. Every fucking body should have food. It's like a very simple idea. You're a human. So you should have food. And not like all of this bullshit ass processed shit. And you can't tell me that people that are shopping at fucking dollar stores for their nutrition 
or actually getting proper nutrition. It's 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 just not something that you can tell me with a straight face. Like one, because I fucking worked in some of these stores and I know that the shit isn't good. And two, come on, how many things can you get completely healthy for a dollar? I'll wait. But back to the point and the idea of you went grocery shopping for somebody, came back, filled their refrigerator, and then they gave you a bologna sandwich and was like, all right, y'all, I'll see you next week. That, when you think of it like that, you're like, ah, this shit is crazy. I would rather eat myself. And you'd be like, oh, well, you're doing it so you can eat. Hmm. That's the reason why you're going, is so you can eat, and so you can pay your... But half the time, you're still fucking choosing between one or the other. So, you miss me with all that shit. Or you have two jobs, and most of the people that I've ever known with two jobs are still broke as fuck. Oh, I'm gonna fall! So, can't tell me that shit. Um... Also, just the idea of safety. Now, this country is this country. So, essentially, it doesn't necessarily matter where I am. I'm still unsafe. Like, yeah, I can be safe. There are, like, ideas of safety, yes. But essentially, I'm still a black man in the United States. Which means that even if I did have a home that was nice, actually, it's probably even more likely to happen if I do have a nice home and I do have nice things that somebody is gonna just break into my shit. And I'm not talking about regular people. Now, I feel like I can fight somebody else, but that's another idea. But still, I don't necessarily even feel safe in the apartments that I've lived in. I just, so that idea of just traveling around, like shit can happen anywhere. Somebody can take your shit anywhere. Somebody can break into your shit anywhere. That doesn't stop it. You still live in this country. Um. Secondly, I figured if I'm alone for, like, how many people go to work and then come home, eat some shit by themselves, play a game or watch movies, something like that, and then go to sleep and then go to work the next day, and then can barely, and then do it at all week, and then can barely do some shit on Saturday and then you gotta go back to fucking work on Monday so you gotta like rest blah 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 like yeah you can tell me that you're getting fucked up all weekend but like bro I'm not 21 I'm not 25 I'm not getting fucked up all weekend one I don't drink so like it's weird to be in a bar situation and all that shit and two like come on like yeah it can be cool but, and when I was 21, I wasn't really going to bars because I'm like, why would I spend all that money in a bar when I could just get smashed in the crib off of less money and have way more? Like, yeah, it's the nice situation and everything like that. But either way, how many people just do that? And then when you try to make friends at work, either it's like high school and they be always playing stupid ass little games um, or people can't keep their fucking mouth shut, or just, it's always something. Or you're a manager, so you can't be friends with the associates because you're a manager, and they're an associate, so. So that basically means that you can't necessarily have friends at work, but you're there for 50 to 60 hours a week, and you can barely do anything on the weekends. Which means at what point in time, and you can't tell me that like, oh, you can find somebody online. 
this online shit is fucking weird. Like, especially nowadays with this, like, metaverse shit. Like, what happened to just actually introducing yourself? Or, like, like these little apps and... I don't want to swipe. I don't, I don't want to swipe on a motherfucker. I want to meet somebody and then have an actual conversation. And it's fine if you just want to fuck. That's fine. But, like, I'd still rather... Just swiping and swiping and swiping and swiping and swiping no swiping. Swiping. Like, fuck out of here. This shit is weird. <laughs> or, you meet somebody online, and they be like, oh, cash app me some money. So I, like, I don't even know your fucking name. You already talking about cash app me some money. How the fuck does that work? So I, I just can't subscribe to that shit. Like, I feel like if I'm going to meet somebody, like, I am a romantic, so I want to meet somebody genuinely. Like, I always wanted the idea of, like, ooh, you dropped your book. <laughs> or, oh, you dropped something. And then fucking we pick the shit up together, and then it'd be, like, in, like, a coffee shop. And you'd be like, oh, do you want to sit down? And, well, well, I just think. So, I'm in a Walmart parking lot. Um. I'm kind of tired because I've been driving around all day. So I made some money. So I figured I would just park up. I see an RV. There's an RV over there. So I kind of was like, I mean, I figure if an RV is over there. And then there's like these like big ass metal bins just sitting around so I just parked up in between two of them and it was just like all right I mean it's kind of lit up so I don't think anybody would just come and rob my shit but it'll be more so just like oh you can't sleep here leave and I'd be like all right I'm leaving so that's it um I mean either way yo Walmart opens in at like it's already at like eleven o'clock. So really, really, if I just slept for like four to five hours and then just got up and then started my day, um, cause by the time that like five o'clock happens, motherfuckers are already getting up and like doing stuff. So, it's not like it's awkward for you to really be in certain places at 5 in the morning or 6 in the morning. Like, people are already doing things. There's stuff going on all night. It's just the idea of, like, oh, can I sleep here? Oh, you're not allowed to be here overnight. Oh. So. But really, I just figured, like, like, again, it's only really, like, like, the nighttime and then the hours in between time are completely different. I mean, it's been dark for, um, for like, since like 5 o'clock, 5.30. But people were like still doing something. It's just like now, like that time in between time where it's like, oh, where, where am I gonna go? But other than that, it's chilling. Um, and honestly, I can sleep anywhere, so that's not really the problem. I wonder if you can see through the back. Can you see? Do you see that little light? So I can see out the back of my van or truck. You can't see anything. I can't know. But that light, I can actually see out of my van. But there's like three windows that are in between there and here. So I think it's a little bit it's more stealth. But I parked front ways. So I got some of this area in a sense. But all right, good night. I'm tired as fuck. Okay, so the fucking RV left. So yeah. I had to go, and now I'm driving to an apartment complex, because like five minutes after I said, oh, there's an RV here, they left, and I was like, where to go? So, now I'm going somewhere else.
Yeah. Bongo Bong. This song is that shit. Also, if you notice, this says 1044. But that says 1055. Can you guess why? And now it's the morning now. So... The night was chilling. I didn't end up staying at Walmart. I ended up just staying at this older apartment complex that's around the way. But like, it's just cold as fuck. So, so hard to sleep because it's just so, I mean, over top of me hardly being able to sleep, it, it being so cold is like not really helping at all. So, I um, made a definite. Definite decision to leave the weekend after the 10th. Um, yeah, because I just don't want to be around here anymore. Not at all. I don't want to be around here. And by me trying to keep that job for however much longer or whatever, I'm really just breaking even when it comes to like the gas that I'm spending to actually drive there. So I might as well just fucking leave. This place is cool. I don't know what this is. It's like no trespassing. Don't trespass. Oh shit, there's like gates. What the hell is the point of that? And then it has that random ass, nice ass grass over there. <coughs> All right. Well, that was nice. That was simple. Um. But yeah, now it's the morning now. Now I'm at the farm park, which. I've been coming to since I was 12 years old. So I kind of know this area by now. Um, and that's the thing. I have too many memories around here. That's why I want to leave so I can not see all of these things and be seeing all these people that I've been seeing for the last however many years. It's just. I want to experience and see and feel new things, different things, different people, different kind of people, different environments. I don't want to look at the same environment for years on end. Like it gets old after a while. I want something new. And I can't let this be all that I see in life. It's just Norristown. Like, that's not, you ain't seeing nothing. Sorry, you're not really, you're not missing anything when it comes to being there. So that's just the idea. It is cold as fuck. Like, I don't like it at all. <sighs> you were the light, not the darkness. And what follows you is peace. I think it's funny that in a lot of these places that I go, I'm one of the only African American people that I see. All around me, there's just Caucasian people everywhere. But I'm over here rocking a Leonard Skinner <laughs> or like. Johnny Cash or something like that while I'm walking around the store. It's just funny to me. Mm -hmm.